G'day Nick here. I am traveling the world looking for the coolest, most interesting places to grow grapes. And I found one. I'm in a little island called Aniwe, which is off Chile, down in, oh, I don't know, halfway down Chile. So it took us about five hours to get here. We took an aeroplane, we took a car, we took a boat, and then we walked and we came to this amazing little vineyard. It's an experimental vineyard, it's about two hectares, but they've got seven different varietals. Chardonnay and Pinot Noir, which would have been the varietals I would have planted, but they've also got Gewürztraminer, I mean, Riesling, Pinot Gris, and a number of other varieties, Albarino. But you can see they've put shiny paper down here to try and get some heat under the uh, clusters. I've seen this technique done before. Uh, if you come in here, you can also see where we are, where it's set, and you can see this is Chardonnay, so this is you've got big berries and small berries already, so we are going to have some diversity, but you can see that the yield is relatively low now. And this vine is four years old, so this is the first crop, and it actually looks pretty good, this vine. I think we've got a good one. And the other thing that's really cool is you'll notice it's green in the avenue, so even though it's green, they're growing the vine Sicano, so there's no irrigation, and done a couple of different pruning techniques to see what works but you can see the vines are relatively close to the ground so that's going to again get a little bit more heat they've kept the bud count really low and they're planted at about this is about one meter spacing the determining factor though is the wind and you can see that it's a little bit windy here today rather than the temperature so they are planted north south this is north in this direction I would have come off a little bit obviously in an ideal situation but because we have the wind they've gone in the direction of the wind to try and mitigate that but you can also see we've got the ocean or the beginning of the ocean right out in front of us so that mitigates the temperature so today it's March 13 and I'm predicting looking at this we're about 50 days away from harvest so we're going to be picking in May they say they get frost in June and as a measurement, this would be at about the same latitude as Tasmania. And we are picking Cabernet in Maipo. So that's sort of where we are. This is winemaking on the edge. This is why I'm in the industry. This is why I love it. Traveling the world, checking out cool places, interesting people, and uh, just amazing. I just love being in this industry.